Good afternoon. This is Paul Corder from Perfect Golf Event. Thanks for coming to our webinar today. Perfect Golf Event helps organizations set up a website for online registration with the contests and activities to attract players and sponsors and formats that are interesting. So we like to do education to help you have more successful events. So today we're going to talk about some marketing tips. And by the way, you don't have to list, copy, listen. You don't need to copy everything down. I'll be glad to send you a copy of presentation. Just send a note to support at Perfect Golf Event, and we'll send you a copy of the presentation. So the challenge that you have when you have a golf event is you want to promote your event effectively, but you need to control your costs. You want as much as you can to go to the bottom line. So we're going to give you some tips and ideas on how to market your event, get ready to market your event, and do it without spending a lot of money. The first thing you want to do is clarify your message. So you want to make sure that people understand why you're raising the funds. You need to come up with a simple, clear way to say, hey, this is what I'm doing. For example, this is an event for the backstoppers. And the backstoppers, they provide financial assistance to the survivors of first responders injured or killed in the line of duty. It can't get any simpler than that. It can't be more powerful than that. And it's really effective in promoting their events and other fundraising efforts. So make sure you have an easy way for all of your committee members, sponsors, supporters <clears throat> to do the same thing, to communicate what your message is. You want to create your brand. Do you have an event logo? Are you consistently using the colors so you have a, an image that people used to say, hey, I recognize that. That's the brand for that particular golf event. You might want to add a tagline that you use. So this is a really nice event. It's been around for eight years. They developed this logo, the Million Dollar Shootout for the Island School, which is a charter school. And they have a nice tagline, tee off to win a million. So come up with something that can resonate with people and makes an effective way to market your event. You want to gather the resources you need for having a great event. So you want to start the great committee, very important first step in having an event. Select a golf course that is attractive and has experience with events. Very important so you have an effective uh, execution of your event. Identify additional supporters who can contribute. We'll talk about building your database in just a second. So you're building this database so you have people that you can promote your, um, your sponsorships and your player packages to. So I, we recognize, and I think only the people who plan golf events know how much goes into planning a golf event. There's so many different modules, from the committee to your website, to your budgeting, your format, your activities, your social media. And so today we're focused on marketing, but it's going to encompass some of these different modules as well. And so congratulations on taking on the effort to organize a golf event. We all understand the challenge of climbing that mountain to a successful golf event. So hopefully what we cover today gives you some tools that help. You want to build be building your database. You want to start building it. If you have a database, that's a great starting point. But to build in a database is an ongoing thing. You're always adding more people to your database to promote this year's event and next year's event. So the database starts with your past supporters. People have given you money maybe to other types of events or could have been to the golf events you've had in the past. You're looking at committee members and their contacts. Staff and supporters are all people going to help you build your database. Vendors, anybody you write a check to goes to the database. Referrals, and I'll talk about this a little later. Golf course, are they going to give you a database to market the event or will they do it on your behalf? I, use, I go on and look at community directories for cities around the golf course and find businesses that I can put into the database. Or I might just do straight internet research. Just go and say, hey, if you're having a golf event in uh, Clayton, Missouri, let's go ahead and give you the names of businesses in Clayton, Missouri, and let's get them on my database list. So you're building your database, and you want to put them all onto a spreadsheet. So you have the category, the bank. Let's say, for example, here's the category, sponsor, companies, commerce, bank. You put in the contact information. Who on my committee is following up? What's the status? Still open. They haven't decided yet. We're thinking they're going to be a presenting sponsor. You want to fill this thing out and you want to keep adding to it. So that some, so not only for this year, but you've got your database getting started when you're ready for future events. Very important is to build the database. One of the things that we miss is, it, is promoting the fact that your golf event's not just for a fun day of golf, 
but it's also a business networking opportunity. Very important after we're all disconnected during COVID. So I go out to people and say, come on out to my vet. You're going to be able to reconnect with clients. You're going to be able to generate new business. It's a great opportunity to grow your business and make new business connections. You right now have the opportunity to energize and expand your committee. So you want to take this opportunity to add new committee members. Maybe you bring some people in that were in your event last year that loved it, loved your cause. They bring some new energy to your event. This is a great way to get ready to market your event. And you're going to ask all your existing committee members to update the potential new teams and sponsors so you get a head start on seeing how big you, your potential is already. And if you want a copy of our techniques on how to uh, run your committees effectively, just send an email to support your perfect golf event. And we'll send you the tips on how to organize uh, a committee and how to manage it effectively. You're going to want to make sure you've got technology in place as you're organizing your event, promoting your event. And hopefully you're using perfect golf event. Here's all the features that are built into our system. Even if you're using someone else, at least make sure that they can do all the things that our system can do. Because we spent, I've been in the business 16 years, so we put a lot of effort in making sure it's got all the tools that you need uh, for a successful event. Including a new one where now you have the ability to have registrants you have the option to pay any credit card processing fees. It's been probably the most popular thing requested over the past couple of years. It's now effective, so if somebody's paying by credit card, they can say, hey, I'll pay the credit card fees as well, so more money goes to the nonprofit. Very powerful. You want to promote online registration when marketing your event. Direct everybody to your website. Encourage them to register online to simplify the registration process during the day of your event. And you can also add things to the registration process. And I'll show you the next screen. Raffle tickets, mulligan, super tickets. It's easy to track all the activity on your web from your website with Perfect Golf Event, and you can download it into Excel. The nice part is the teams can easily be updated online so you won't have a lot of chaos the day of the event. So they can register online as a team or a sponsor, but you can also add all the other things that they can put in their cart while they have their credit card out. So it could be the ball drop, it could be putting contest, could be mulligans, could be super ticket. It's a great way to get more things bought in advance, which saves time the day of the event, but also brings in new revenue now. If you're going to have an event, but you've got to have a lot of great sponsorships, but you have to have sizzle in your sponsorships. Here's an event we just finished on February 3rd, and you can see we've got lots of sponsorships with lots of things included in the sponsorships. And was it effective? Well, here's the thank you ad we just did for the event. And you can see how many sponsors were involved in this particular event because we had great sponsorships with sizzle and people come on. And this is what you want to do is make sure you've got lots of sponsorships offered and you'll get lots of sponsors uh, signing up. And if you want a set of our sponsorship packages, these are all great things because you can add a lot of sizzle to a sponsorship and a lot of things are free to add. You know, for example, a title sponsor, you can have all these things. Presenting sponsor, you can add things that don't cost you a lot. So this is a great spend. If you want a set of our sponsorship packages um, as a sample, then, uh, you, want to, you can just send an email to uh, uh, support at Perfect Golf Event. We also have webinars on perfectgolfwebinars.com on how to sell sponsorships. And you can get our spreadsheet, again, that helps you track all the contacts, where they stand, what type of sponsorship they're eligible for. I ask my sponsors to promote my event. So I go out and I say, hey, thanks for being a sponsor. And I give them a sign to put in their bank or retail store. All it costs you is a sign. I also ask them to post, to promote the event on their website and their social media. So I go out on their business site, and they may have thousands of people on their business site saying, hey, Simmons Bank is going to be a proud sponsor of the Backstoppers Golf event in September. What a great way to get additional exposure for your event. For attracting players, Consider a format that's going to attract them other than just a four-person scramble with a box lunch and some awards. Here's an event that's already sold out for April, and you can read this later, but you can see all the things they've added to their event uh, to attract sponsors and players. 
add more hole-in-one contests and add more things to your event, putting contests, online auction, hole-in-one contests, everything that you think you could do, use to attract people. And again, they can all be sold as sponsorships. Here's an event that we're doing again in St. Louis. And you can see all the things we have offered for this particular event. So what you want to do is sit down with your committee and say, hey, what are we doing pre-event to attract people? What are we doing on the course? What are we doing post-golf? How does your event stack up? If, if you were in St. Louis the same day as this event, would people want to come to your event because it's cool? Or would they want to come here with all the stuff that's being offered for this particular event? One thing I always tip is make sure you've got a woman's division. Um, that's really important. It's an excellent opportunity to expand your field. This is from an event I do in Florida. And the first year, we didn't have any women. And after eight years, we now have seven or eight women, full women's teams in the event. We have a whole separate uh, division for women. It's a great way to add more players to your event. Don't miss this opportunity. Make sure you've got strong marketing materials. Here's some brochures that we did for some events already this year. And you can see it's got a strong message explaining what's going to be there. But also, it's got, it drives people to the website. And that's what you're trying to do is drive people to the website so they can see all the benefits of playing in your event. Social media is important. If you're working with Perfect Golf Event, we can give you some uh, images to post because Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram all have different size requirements. So we'll help with you if you're using Perfect Golf Event. Um, you want to make sure that you're giving your supporters, committee members, everyone some direction on what to say on social media. So don't just tell them, please promote my event. Tell them what to say. <clears throat> so you might have five different messages. So the first message is introduce the event. Please send it out this week. Next week, send out something why we're raising money. Next week, send something out of all the contests and activities or focus on the networking and new business opportunities. So get people to spread this on their social media, but give them the tools to do it. At the same time, um, and LinkedIn's a good one. I'll just talk about LinkedIn in just a second. One of the other things I've done effectively is I've gone to local colleges and I've asked a student there who's in, in digital marketing, they all have degrees for their offers for that now, who wants to be a volunteer to help our golf event. It's good for your resume. You can come out during the event. We'll introduce you. You might get an internship out of it. But younger people know how these things work better than all of us that are north of 40. So ask somebody to come out and help you be effective on all of these media charts, media channels. LinkedIn, very important. LinkedIn is the top business to business networking site. So you can promote your, your event on, on LinkedIn and ask everybody on LinkedIn when they register your event to post the fact that they're gonna be there. So, you know, on LinkedIn, I've got 700 contacts. I'm sure you have a lot. So when I have, go to an event, I always post, hey, I'm gonna be in Columbus, Ohio doing this golf event. If you wanna play, here's a link to the website. We get good response doing that. So you want to do that. If somebody registers for your event, ask them to post it on LinkedIn. Very effective. Put together a press kit. It's a great way to market your event. The newspapers don't necessarily pick up a lot of this information, but it's a great tool when you're out calling on players for teams and sponsors for sponsorship. It just makes you look more professional to have a press kit that explains what you're doing, why you're raising funds, what you did last year who the sponsors were. It's a great marketing tool. So it's perfect for sponsorship presentations. If you do this, you're in the top 1% of all the golf events out there. Create a YouTube channel. Uh, we have one for perfect golf event with all my video videos. So have a channel, post videos promoting your golf course, your cause, your contests and activities. So go out and interviews with the pro at your golf course. Ask them what the best holes are. What's fun about the golf course? Talk about activities and hole in one contest. And then let sponsors post some of their videos. A great way to sell more sponsorships if you can say, hey, to the restaurant, hey, if you've got a 30 or 40 second video about your best menu items, we'll post it on the site. So, YouTube channel is another great way to market your event. You can also trade for advertising. So, I go out to local newspapers, radio stations, and billboard companies. And billboards are fine now because they're digital. So they can quickly put a new message up without having to do those old posters that they pasted. And I'll say, hey, I'll give you a sponsorship by event if you'll just put an ad up, you know, for a couple of weeks, have an ad rotating about our event. 
What I found too is funny, car dealers, uh, banks and other big organizations, they have weekly contracts. So they have to say, they buy a 52 week contract to get the best rate. So I'll say to them, hey, you got 52 weeks. Why don't you give me two weeks and let me put an ad in using your contract? I've had success with that. It's really good. And the main thing is your cost is just the, uh, your cost is just the cost of the uh, signage. Uh, so that's really good for uh, just promoting your event. You might want to offer as part of your marketing practice rounds. So you might go out and say to people, hey, if you want to play in a golf event, here's a certificate to go play the golf course at a special rate before our event so you can have a practice round. Make them comfortable playing your event. I've worked with some golf courses to do free clinics to say, hey, come on out to the event 30 days before the event. We're going to give you a special rate, includes lunch and a beer and a discount in the pro shop, and you're going to get to practice on the golf course before the big event. And I do the same thing with uh, replay rounds. So I'll say register uh, a full team and I'll give you a coupon for every member in your team to come back and play the golf course later. Golf courses will do this if you ask them, don't you want the players to come back, play your golf course, rent a cart, eat lunch, buy some drinks? Aren't those all valuable things? Well, why don't you do the replay round? This is really a fun one. I did about six times last year. And we went out to the local radio station and we said, hey, come on out to the golf course and we're going to have a, a chance for you to just come up in your business clothes or whatever. We'll give you some golf clubs. Take a shot. If you get a hole in one, you win $10,000. You can do well on the weekend or you can do it like during drive time. So, hey, on the way back from work today, come over to Glen Echo Country Club, take a shot at $10,000 and to win some other prizes. Maybe the golfer that the close the pin during the contest gets entry into your golf tournament. But what you're trying to do is promote your golf tournament. So I bring the radio station out, and they broadcast for a couple of hours and say, hey, we're out at Glen Echo Country Club. Come on out. You can win $10,000. I'll tell you more about this big golf event coming up in September to support the backstoppers. So the radio station can encourage the public to stop by. They promote your event, explain why you're raising funds, and offer some prizes from the pro shop. What a unique, creative way to do it. And this is something that we had great success with you should consider. You can maximize the early bird special. So you might go out to people and say, hey, come on out. And, and uh, if you register for the event early, I'm going to give by September 31st. I'm gonna, instead of, I don't like the discount, but I might give them extra raffle tickets or an entry into the putting contest or a free golf shirt. Um, good if you're using perfect golf event. There's a promo code field you can use so they can sign up for the, the uh, early bird special. So there's lots of opportunities here for you to grow your event. Referral programs. Shame on you if you don't call everybody who registers for your event and thank them and ask them for a referral. I do it, and they're so surprised that someone would call them. You know, we'll send them thank you the emails, but that gets lost. Just so call them and say, hey, thanks for registering for the golf event. And by the way, do you know anybody else who might be interested? Would you mind putting in your participation on your social media channels? They love it because you call them. Nobody gets called to be thanked anymore. And you might give them some rewards for referrals. So don't miss the fact they have referral programs. I'll do a phone blitz. I'll bring people out and we'll get around with some pizza and beer. And we'll start calling people who are on the edge. Say, hey, you thought you were going to play at a golf event. We're trying to finalize. Are you in? Are you out? Come on out. We need you for the golf event. or We need your sponsorship. Make sure you put everything on a marketing calendar so you can track where you're not, where you're missing activities. And I'll be glad to send you this template that you can plug in all your activities and what you're doing on the dates leading up to your event. And you'll be able to track progress on the same spreadsheet. There's tabs for key activities you should be doing and how to track prospects. Easy to do. So I know we went quick. Um, I just wanted to get through all of it for you and hope I gave you some ideas and generate some new ideas and thoughts. If you want to copy of the presentation, send to support a perfect golf event or you can email me directly at perfect, Paul at Perfect Golf Event. There are more webinars posted on Perfect Golf Webinars. And if you're interested in a silent auction, an online auction for your event, we just launched perfectsilentauction.com as well. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. Let's have a great event in 2022.